last page. So if we have a point in the circle of radius 5 centimeters, the length of the arc is 14. What are the coordinates of point P round to two decimals? And so um, what I can do then is I know that um, this distance here is the, um, so there's my five. So I know that um, I can figure out um, that angle, theta, because I know that um, the angle is, so that uh, five times theta is equal to 14 when theta is in radians. Okay, so I can find rate theta. So theta is equal to 14 over 5 um, radians. Okay, and so then I, because um, I know s is equal to r theta. So then I can find the um, coordinates. So I know that the x, x is going to be equal to r times cosine theta which is um, 5 times cosine of 14 over 5. Um, and then y is going to be r sine theta, so that's 5 times sine of 14 over 5. And when I compute this, I just need to make sure that I'm in radian mode. Um, and so the, the x coordinate is going to end up being, um, uh, when I plug all that in, negative 4.71. And the y, um, sin, 5 sine 14 over 5, okay, um, I get 1.67. So those are your coordinates. So x is, um, again, x is um, negative 4.71, and y is 1.67. Okay. Uh, number 30, a weather satellite orbits the Earth um, in a circular orbit 500 miles above the Earth's surface. So we have the Earth, and then we have this orbit, and we have this 500 miles. Um, what is the radian measure of the angle through which the satellite moves in traveling 600 miles in its longest orbit? So we want to go this angle, and this is 600. And the radius of Earth is 3960, um, so I want to find that arc length. No, I want to find the angle. So I know S is equal to R theta. And so my radius, so uh, my S is 600. My radius is um, 3960 plus 500. My radius is 4460 um, times theta. So theta is equal to 600 divided by 4460. Um, so 0 0.16. three, four, five radians. Okay, um, determine amplitude period midline and whether it has, um, okay, so let's just do amplitude period midline. So it looks like it goes from three to negative one, halfway in the middle would be at positive one. So the amplitude goes from one up to three. So the amplitude is two. Um, is there a, an x-axis reflection? If I think about this as a, as a sine function, we could say yes. Um, the period is the distance until it, it repeats itself, so that's here, so that's 2 pi. The midline is y equals positive 1, if I look at my graph. And the vertical shift, it looks like I'm going up one unit because the midline used to be at zero and now it's up at y equals one. And so the equation would be um, y equals two, uh, sorry, negative two sine So the negative is the flip, the two is the amplitude, sine of um, x, and then we have a vertical shift of one, so plus one. Okay, so the next one, um, I can say for the function, that function, find the amplitude period of midline. So the midline is going to go up by 1.1. So let's write it all out. Midline is going to be y equal 1.1. Um, the amplitude is given by this number, so it was 4.2. Um, the period 
um, is going to be the period. My k is pi. So the period is always 2 pi over k, which is 2 pi over pi, which is 2 in this case. Okay. And then, um, so amplitude, period, midline. In addition, find the domain and range of f. Okay, so the domain is all reals. So for negative infinity to infinity. And the range is going to be what changes. So the midline is at 1.1. So from 1.1, we're going to go up 4.2. So that the top value is 5.3. And the bottom value is we're going to do 1.1 minus 4.2. To see how low it goes, it goes down to negative 3.1. And this will be inclusive because it actually does attain those two values. So those are all the answers to, to that one. Um, number 33, I have a mill has a water wheel has a radius of 13 feet and the bottom of the wheel is one foot above the surface of the water. Okay. Um, the wheel rotates clockwise starting at the three o'clock position. Let H be the height above the water at a, uh, okay. Find a formula h of theta and sketch a graph for 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so, um, so yeah, so it, at 2 pi radians, it's going to complete its cir circle. And so at uh, pi radian, or sorry, 0, it starts out, uh, let's see, so the radius is 13, and it's 1 foot above the water. So at 0, we're up at 14. Okay. When it gets up to theta equals uh, when theta equals pi over two, uh, the function is at its maximum height, which is going to be thirteen plus thirteen plus one. So thirteen plus thirteen plus one is twenty-seven is the is the max height. So it's going to go there. Then it's go up to twenty-seven, and then at pi, it's going to be back to that midline. And then at 3 pi over 2, it's going to be down to its minimum, which is at 1 foot above the water. And at 2 pi, it's going to be back to that starting point. Um, so there's my graph that I have sketched. And then I want to um, write a function for that. So really, it's just a, it's a amplitude shift of 13. It's a sine function. Um, and we haven't done any period shifts, so it's just sine of theta. And then um, we have done a vertical shift. Um, the midline has changed. Instead of being at zero, it's shifted up to 14. And it is. it didn't do any flips or anything like that, so h of theta is this. So the amplitude is 13. We have a vertical shift of 14. And so that's... Um,